Hello, dear friends of awakened consciousness. And that's what today is all about. Consciousness, namely the collective consciousness with the matrixes. Jonathan, Shiva, the collective consciousness or the collective unconscious, as Carl Gustav Jung postulated, is a kind of pool, consciousness pool or memory pool, in which all information that has ever taken place on earth takes place and will take place in the future are stored. So it's like a gigantic database. And this database contains everything. You might be familiar with that when you think of Google. So data octopuses. They also collect information about you. Which websites to visit, which websites you find good, which products you may have looked at on the internet, and so on. And all this data is collected by Google the collective conscious or collective unconscious, or also known in the spiritual realm as the Akashic Records. And so we're dealing with a huge database that is fed automatically, so not like Google always has to spy, like this. Instead, all thoughts are immediately transferred and saved there. So that means everything you thought and felt, what ideas you had, what you have planned, and what you have done in the past, all of that is stored there. I agree. Just all the old programming, beliefs, convictions, everything that concerns the whole collective of humanity. Yes. And what Einstein once thought about his theory of relativity is all stored there. Also what you thought, what you ate yesterday or what you did last week. Everything is saved there. Yes, exactly. And since it is the collective consciousness, any information is theoretically available to everyone. That's the way it is. So someone who has access to the Akashic Records, or even to the collective consciousness of the Earth, knows everything they want to know. But then he's also confronted with all that nonsense, so to speak, I'd say. You have to learn to distinguish what belongs to you and what doesn't. What do you want to accept and what not? It's not just all the stuff in there, everything is in there. For example, everything related to abuse, that's in there too. It all belongs in our field. Of all injuries, all, everything is in there. I think many of you who are watching now probably already know that. With the collective earthly consciousness, or the Akashic Chronicle, but what many may not yet know is that there is also a cosmic collective consciousness, yes, and that's what you have to strive for, or to consciously reconnect with it. Yes, it is usually the case that the Akashic Chronicle only stores what happened within the Earth matrix. I agree. And the cosmic collective consciousness, on the other hand, has stored everything that has ever happened in the entire universe. With all the billions or billions of aliens that live there, in all dimensions, yes. And what you may not yet know is that the collective consciousness of the cosmos has access to the collective consciousness of the Earth. Yes. And so if you eventually die and you detach yourself from your body, and then move into the 4D plane. And maybe, as we also recommended, plan to take one of the black portals. And then the Matrix guards arrive and think, he should go back into the light like everyone else. Then they scroll down for a moment. That's the way it is. Or, how do you imagine how that works? Yes, they scan you telepathically, and they have complete access to you. They know more about you than you do. Yes, and how does that happen? What do you mean? 
how that comes about. I mean, not only can they access you telepathically, but they can also read the Akashic records, like when you do. What do you mean do? When you physically shed your body. Oh yes, of course, because that's all set. It's all already stored there. Whether it will now happen 100% as it says there, there are several realities, but in most cases it is true. And then they can look. Ah, Shiva, here, she dies tomorrow, yes. And she said she wants to go through the black portal. Yes, we'll have to see what we can do there again. And there are tricks, yes, from their side. Yes, they can transform when I can't let go of people. Or they suggest, you can live exactly the life you wished for, or yeah. They have tons of tricks. What they don't tell you is that it's all just tricks. You may get life, but they won't show you the fine print. No, no. Yes, and if, for example, you like small, sweet, which dogs? Then it may well be that you think, yes, no, I want out of the reincarnation cycle. I'll take the black portal. And then you look back at the light again. And there you see such a cute little puppy that needs your help and very hungry, just to give an example. And now you can calculate that, what possibilities there might still be to somehow convince you that it would be better to go back into the light. There are many possibilities. Yes, yes, well, uh, the collective consciousness, an exciting story actually just like the cosmic consciousness. And yes, there is actually a lot to tell because a lot of abuse has happened through the cosmic consciousness from many sides. And I don't just mean it. And I don't just mean it sexual. I mean it in general, the whole power game. Power, powerlessness, all that polar duality stuff and it would be wise to detach from that collective programming. Yes, one must also consider, even during one's lifetime, within physical reality, with a fit and healthy body. All data can still be viewed in the Akashic Chronicle. And if aliens come by at night, and they know very well, Oh, look, Shiva, she's starting to remember. Yes, yes, that will not do. She must not be aware of her divinity so quickly. That must be stopped. Otherwise, it will be so strong and influential afterwards. Who knows what she'll do with it? Well, for the good of the people. Not so good for the aliens then, probably. And then, of course, they see where the weak points are. And as Shiva already said, the goal is actually to cut ties with the collective consciousness. That means disconnecting, because the collective consciousness also provides you with many beliefs. Yes, you are very influenced with the earthly programming. This can also be observed in children. For example, when I was a child, I dreamed of serpentines. I was maybe three years old then, and never talked to anyone about serpentines or what they might look like, or I've never seen a book with pictures or anything, never, but I dreamed of switchbacks. So how can it be that I dreamed of switchbacks as a toddler? And the only explanation, as Carl Gustav Jung also found out, is that even during childhood, one is connected to the collective consciousness and downloads information from there. But this is, of course, the general standard information. Yes. And then, of course, you are fed with this information. And of course, they also program the consciousness at the same time. And that's why it's important to disconnect from the collective consciousness, to become self-employed, to become responsible. 
distancing oneself from the belief patterns of the collective. It's the same with the collective feminine and collective masculine. Women are also influenced by these beliefs that have evolved over thousands of years, and they think these are their own beliefs, that's themselves, or the pain of femininity. Of course, they think it's them, or the injuries, or feel like it's their own pain. The story is thousands of years, which can now also be worked up, of course. But that one can also distance oneself from it and try to get away from it, from this programming and beliefs that flow into you and actually prevent you from living what you really want to be. Yes, yes. You can see that on Google too. So Google, that's right, that's a good example. Google collects all information about us. No matter what we do on the internet, you can now see how it behaves in parallel, as in the small, so in a big one. Now, of course, there is also the competitor from Google, DuckDuckGo.com. And that's a search engine. It doesn't collect any data about you. They will treat all your data anonymously. That means that you are actually cutting yourself off from Google and just use a different search engine so that nobody notices or no one knows which pages you have all been looking for because that's your privacy. And that's actually the way to compare it, isn't it? Yes. I also have an example that just came to mind because if you somehow enter something into Google and if it's only two letters or a word, then Google will give you suggestions. Ah, great. Yes. Yes, these are sort of the programming suggestions and beliefs that are then shown to you. Do I believe this or do I believe that? And then, of course, you have the choice to choose. Do I now believe this or do I now believe that? Most of the time, of course, we choose the wrong thing. Yes, but that would now be my Google example. Yes, exactly. I agree. <laughs> You only have to enter two letters and a bar of suggestions comes up because everyone uses them. Did you just say latte? Yes, I said latte. Must be a joke. And that's why you can see that the standard words are delivered straight away. That is, if we transfer that to our example with the collective consciousness, we only need to think the first two sentences and then the other sentences come down from the collective consciousness, how this sentence could look like or could end. We often notice that when we think, yes, you think faster than you speak, for example, when you think about something. Of course, you think in sentences, but if you discuss, for example, lively discussion with someone and the exchange of words is very quick, don't think about the sentences beforehand but they come gushing out of you. And that's when you notice that there is some kind of support, external support, which already feeds you with the standard information, what we might add as examples, that many have the same standard beliefs. For example, in relation to money or in terms of relationships and work, profession, vocation. If you go through the population, I would say you can see the same standard beliefs in almost everyone. Isn't that strange? And even across cultures, cross-culture, exactly. Where does that come from? Because yes, they are all connected. This must not be forgotten. We are all telepaths. For example, I know what Fritz Walter was thinking in Frankfurt at that moment and I've never spoken to a Fritz Walter. So seen, so. And that is the collective unconscious. We all talk to each other telepathically. We just don't get it that way. A very exciting topic, the one with the collective consciousness. Unfortunately, one also has to say that the collective consciousness also corresponds to standard programming. And to what extent the collective consciousness is also manipulated in some way. One does not know either. That's a whole different question. We also have our theories. So 
If you think, yes, Google is spying on me too much, I'll go to DuckDuckGo. I'm sure one of those people who might be thinking about breaking away from the collective consciousness, so separate from the collective. And in order to break away from this collective consciousness, one finds one's individuality again and doesn't actually parrot everything that everyone else is saying. You can also see the correspondence, the symbolic correspondence outside with the mainstream press or something. You can also see that they are babbling on about what you have to believe. And many of us have now noticed that what is said is also highly subjective and not as independent and objective as it might have been at some point. At least our little tip, our contribution to collective consciousness, or as Jung said, the collective unconscious. Because we are not aware of it, that's why he called it that. Also very intelligent. Yes, as you say, yes, it's absolutely important to break away from that. And what's the best way to do that, dear Jonathan? The world so close. How questions? Yes, of course. The collective consciousness can only access us through thinking or making suggestions. You could almost say, Google can only make suggestions if you call up Google and type something in. Or, that's the way it is. If you don't go to Google, they can't make any suggestions. And so it is with our thinking. We think, and with that, we also connect with the collective consciousness. And then, of course, the suggestions come in. And most people accept the first suggestions right away, as I have observed. And so, if you don't use thinking at times, information from the collective consciousness can't get through to us either. That is why constructive dissociation is so important to us, because that also solves this problem in this case. And if you don't want to go deep into dissociation right away, if necessary, check every thought that comes in alternatively. Yes, absolutely. And there we are again, partly at belief work. Absolutely, yes. Make a list of positive beliefs, negative beliefs, and limiting beliefs, that you write them all down and list them. Diet, relationship, job all areas of your life and then work on transcending or dissolving the negative and limiting ones. Of course, it's also a possibility, but it's the slowest option, I would say, because the dissociation sweeps it all away at once. But of course, belief work is also good for those who, as Shiva says, don't want to throw themselves into dissociation, because dissociation a double-edged sword. Exactly. Sometimes you can get into a bit of trouble if you overdo it. And that's why, for those who prefer to approach it very gently and calmly, just practice belief work. Yes, dear people. You participated so actively in our last video that we wanted to do it again. Big thanks to you guys. There were so many unbelievable suggestions and participations. That was totally awesome. So there is now a lot of material to feel into again. Totally great. And of course, we would be happy if that were to be the case in this article as well. What do you think of collective consciousness? What was your experience with it? Did you work with it, dissolved, integrated, whatever? Yes, as always, we'd love to hear your comments. And yes, we are curious. We are curious. And the next video. Let yourself be surprised where we will be there. Yes, we will be making our video from a very special place. And let's see who knows this place. And it will no longer be the island. No, no. Take care, folks. Take care and a wonderful time.
Until next time. Until next time. Ciao, ciao. Macht gut und eine wunderbare Zeit. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao. Ciao.